Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls. I'm Lord Formand and we are here finally at the base of Blight Town. So it took me about another 10 or so tries to make it down here. Uh, pretty rough to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna quick do the bonfire here, reverse hollowing and kindle it. That way we have 10 Estus flasks because there's a pretty major boss fight coming up here in a bit. Um, we're not going to go to the boss fight just yet. Ideally, I want to make it out of Firelink Shrine so I can get all the way back up to the smith, Andre, Andre I guess, and have him improve um, that weapon we picked up. The um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a sword style thing. Um, let's just quick pick this up, make sure it's not a mimic by attacking. And it is, it's a treasure chest, dragon scale. And let's get out of here. Not that anything bad happens if you stay. It's a very odd area. It's like there should have been a boss fight in there, but there isn't. It's rather weird. So, um, we want to try and get out of here. And there's one... Well, there's, there's a way out. Um, actually, I don't want to fight that thing. So, let's hide for the moment. Okay. So, there is a elevator thing um i think it's this way actually so we do want to fight this mess these things take forever for me to kill um that's part of the reason i need a better weapon because that should not have taken oh shoot and i forgot that there's a oh, a spirit here we're gonna die um man eater uh mildred so also, in case you guys haven't figured out, the reason no one likes this area is because just by walking through the swamp here, I'm getting poisoned. Um, there she is. And there's also these weird bug things that try and attack you and poison you. It's really painful. And there she is. That bleed damage for the win, hopefully. I attack faster, so this is actually in massively in my favor this round. Okay, we didn't actually die despite getting invaded by a dark spirit. Um, cool. We got a ton of souls, so let's head back and quick level up. Because I'm going to lose them trying to escape this swamp. I can almost guarantee you that. So, level up. Dexterity. So supposedly I want to start level, stop living up dexterity at level 40. Um, we'll see about that. Uh, <laughs> the benefit after that is kind of minor. Deal with that. I don't know if that's actually fire magic or it's like... If that's fire or fire magic. It's not really clear. Suffice to say, it's nothing good. Okay. So this is the way out. Um, I do remember this now, and I don't, I don't like this map area because of all the weird angles the game forces you into. So let's get out of here. Um, obviously, there's still a boss fight we're going to have to do at some point, but having a slightly better weapon than your starting weapon would help. What there is is there are platforms here. You have to get on them and make it off without dying, it's actually really hard, at least in my opinion, to do so. Um, okay, that worked out better than I thought it would. Normally I fall off and die right there, so... Uh, I'm happy about that. That is a, yep, like poison fly thingy. This whole swamp is full with, filled with them. Um, There's a ladder there, but we actually want to do this area if we can. And I've been toxic already. Oh, I'm, I'm totally doing this the wrong way, too. There we go. Heal that. 
and I'm toxic again. I need to just equip one of these to... Oh, it already is. Okay, um... There's an item we want here. There we go. Let's heal. I gotta kill all these blow gunners. Who are actually kind of beyond annoying because you get hit twice and you get toxic, which pretty much is a death sentence. The only real hope is hiding, letting it tick down, and then fighting them. Of course, there are dogs down here, which means I'm going to die. So let's just get this. Firekeeper soul, heal up if we can. I don't know how the dogs haven't killed me. There we go. We lose a humanity, but we got a firekeeper soul, which means we can enhance our Estus Flask to level 2 if we want to. And uh, we now know I can escape Light Town. We just. I remember there's a firekeeper soul there, and firekeeper souls are beyond valuable in this. There's only like 4 or 5 in the entire game, so. Although it would be nice if I could actually um, deal with these guys without losing my entire health bar or getting poisoned. Okay, so we dealt with that. I'm not going to try and get the humanity back. Humanities are valuable, but not to the extent of dying again to get one. Um, considering I also still have to get out of here on these things, and I failed hard horribly at that. And now I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. At least we didn't get poisoned. You'll notice that what happened there was I tried to walk onto the elevated platform by hitting roll and it registered me walking forward and then hitting roll which was rather weird. Um, Yeah. At least I'm enjoying the slightly faster rolling than when we had armor. Okay, let's get us out of here safely. There we go. That dismount has killed me more times than probably anything else in the game, which is stupid. Um, and that is saying something, considering I've died to the dumbest things. One skeleton, for example. Okay. Uh, I just have to go up another ladder, I believe, and then I'm out of here. Although I should really heal as soon as I can. There we go. We have a couple souls saved up, so we can in fact use that to um, upgrade our weapon. Although I think if I remember, there's another weapon here somewhere we want to pick up or item. Come on. Die already flies. Gah! Game! I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was me pressing to walk in a straight line there for a moment. It's a little bit crazy. Um, going up. There's some loot here. There's like a treasure chest or something we want to make sure we grab. Okay. So we climbed down the right side, and now we're going up the left side to get out of here. Here's what we wanted, I think. Yeah, key to New Lundo Ruins. That's a key item. We've pretty much made it out of here. We just have to get past a couple of those big fat dudes. Got it. Freedom is ours to some degree. Valley of the Drakes. Yes, 
I remember this area. I don't like it. This, however, is what we want right here. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. But we also have the key to New Lundo Ruins, which allows us to do this. We want to. This is New Lundo. We will come back to it. For now, I'm going to leave. Pretty much as soon as I can. Uh, once I pick this up. There are ghosts in New London Ruins, and I don't want to fight ghosts. I can't fight ghosts right now, anyway. Uh, we are instead going to use this lift, which in fact bring, should bring us um, to the bottom of Firelink Shrine, if I remember my destinations correctly. I must say, I do like the lift designs in these games. They're really kind of cool. I assume it's concealing a loading screen, but um, you wouldn't really know unless uh, you thought about it. Okay. Not walk off the edge into oblivion like I've done before. Oh, I guess I didn't talk to Lotric again. However, he has now, in fact, killed the Firekeeper here, we will note. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do to put them back, is there? No, I have to save the Firekeeper's soul. Now, let's talk to this guy. Someone ring the bell, okay. What else do you have to say, Father? Um, what else? Okay. I want him to comment on the Firekeeper being gone. I guess he won't. So, light bonfire. Firekeeper's absent cannot light bonfire. Yes, that is in fact a penalty because I have freed Lotric or whatever. Also, all these people have shown up here. Um, I guess I can talk to them quickly. They will not really talk. You might Yeah, she's undead as well, or she's not undead. But you can talk to them briefly. Oh my! I will. So it was. Um, we will see them again. There is some plot points, and I do know their plot point. It's not good. Um, this is a very dark game. If you th stop and think about it, good game, no doubt, but very dark. Not to mention disturbing looking with those vacant eyes with no eyes in them. Anyhow, we've made it back to here. I'm going to run past these guys. There's no reason to fight anybody here. Although I could use some souls, but yeah, I've got to uh, save souls so I can spend that instead. quick rest before I forget. I've done that before, forget. I mean, to be fair, actually, I would have... Mm, I probably would have been better off... Oh. One second, someone's giving me a phone. Spam calling. You gotta hate it. Anyhow, sorry about that. Uh, so we give him the large ember, and he can upgrade weapons further. So first things first, let's repair this bandit knife, because it has proved to be very useful for us. That's all we can do right now. Yeah. Uh, items. This black eye orb we can't use right now. That's going to be a later thing. I thought you could use the Firekeeper Soul we had to rebuild it, but I guess I'm wrong. And yeah, we should end up with a lot of souls here once I use all these. Crab Knight is like 2,000. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello again. Yes, we want to reinforce a weapon. We want to do this one, I believe. Yes.
Right now we can't wield this, but we can later. There we go, we've got it to level 5. Now we can modify it and make it stronger. We could also make it raw or just upgrade it the way it is. I'm going to say upgrade it the way it is. And at some point... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thank you, Andre. We have to... Well, obviously upgrade it. Make sure my phone is muted so that I don't get any more phone calls while recording. I thought I had, but I was wrong. Sorry. Um, I think we still have a couple more souls we can use. Or one soul. It's going to be like 50. 200. Okay, not bad. What do we need to use this new weapon we have now upgraded to? 14 strength. We have 10. So we need to level up four times to be able to use that weapon. That is going to be a grind, I think. I think I'll have to grind that. Yeah, 9,000. There's no easy way to get that. Um, I guess I'll head back to the forest. If I killed the Moonlight Butterfly, I'd be I'd get levels, but that's tricky. Um, we are a little bit stronger than we were before, so I guess I will try the forest stuff. Um, I used to play this a lot with a character, and I called it Forest Lord. I kept uh, fighting all the PvP stuff, PV stuff in the forest here. If you remember when I started the, this uh, Let's Play, I almost named my character Forest Lord. Um, that's why. But since then, I deleted deleted that save file because it got to be too easy. Um, PvPing people. Oh, well, that worked. Didn't get any soul. Oh, I got 100 souls for it. It's not a total waste. on text messages and everything just leave me alone people you know I'm recording let's not die to the tree okay. the other thing I want is plenty of these red purple moss clumps because we're gonna want anti-poison everything that we can get Poison, toxin, anti-everything. So let's quick rest. And then I will have to grind. Pretty much on my own. I'll do one quick fight here, see if we've gotten stronger against these stone giants, and then we'll stop. I'll just kill one. Um, I'll try the, We'll try to do the Moonlit Butterfly next episode, probably. That would make sense. I think we're probably high enough level for it. The issue is it's a range fight and we're not ranged characters. So. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we're much stronger than we were. Nice and easy. Hey, we got a stone great shield. Not that we can use it at all. Um, I'm not going to try and fight anyone else in that area right now. It would take longer than we have in this episode. Okay. So that will be it for this episode. Sorry, this one's a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, it's a good stopping point. Plus, I've got about another 30, 40 minutes of a grind to get souls, which I don't really want you to have to sit through. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.